surprised. I was sleeping and uh, lying in bed and all of a sudden my cell phone started to ring and a little disoriented, picked it up and a Swedish voice asked if it was me. Uh, and I said it was and they said they had some good news and I tried to wake up some more. Uh, and then a couple, three members of the, of the Nobel Prize Committee in, in, in economic science um, got on the phone and it was clear to me then that I wasn't being pranked by one of my friends because I know there, two of them, I knew their voices quite well. Uh, so that, that was how I found out. So I mean, I'm very happy that this, this work was, uh, was, uh, was acknowledged. Uh, you know, it's, has Phil Divig and I, for that part of, of the work, uh, basically had the idea when we did our research that it could have some impact on the way that central bankers and regulators around the world thought about, uh, about the financial system, about banks, about deposit insurance stability. So given that, that those issues of stability and the financial system are still very important, we're, I'm very happy that it, uh, uh, this got acknowledged. Well, the, the paper I wrote with, with Phil Divig, we wrote it very simply so that bank regulators could understand it. And I think it actually, in the, that community, it's the basic ideas, if not all the math, are, are well understood. So since we went through the 2007 through 9 crisis, you know, made worse by the, the, the failure of Lehman in 2008, uh, there were many people thinking about these ideas. Uh, and you know, fellow uh, laureate uh, Ben Bernanke, who was the chair of the Federal Reserve Board during the great financial crisis, which was great for the world to have someone who understood all these theories as well as did the foundational empirical work in the area. So I feel like most of the people who are involved in actual policy making already understand these ideas. Um, but the point of, our, of, of the paper that Phil Divig and I wrote was saying that these types of um, financial crises and panics are not necessarily uh, just about commercial banks. It could be any financial institution, any institution that has a, a set of assets that are long-term and illiquid and a set of deposits or liabilities that are short-term and liquid. So it could be an insurance company, like we saw the, the divisions of insurance companies in the United Kingdom recently. You know, it could be um, what we call a shadow bank, something that's like a bank but isn't doesn't have a bank charter. There's not the point of our paper was that it's not being named a bank, but it's the type of contract one writes and the type of assets one holds. I've basically been at the University of Chicago, you know, my entire career. I left for one year to work at another university. I left for one year to visit another university. Other than that, since 1979, I've been, been in Hyde Park. Uh, and the University of Chicago has been like an amazing place to keep trying to do one's best research. Chicago has been like a stupendous place to do research and to keep doing research year after year after year and keep trying to keep thinking as, as many new ideas as one can.